Hello everyone, my name is Anton and today I want to get into the 3.2 upgrade for the Max Lomi. I have the Max Lomi, the first one, not the two, and this new update 3.2 basically kind of renews the device. So I want to get into some of the highlights for it. We can see here I'm on the settings page and I've already done the update. We can see see it right here. And if you compare it to what you have in the older version, you'll see that a lot of the icons and the UI elements have been updated. It, it really does look nice, um, a, a bit more appealing now. And things just, if you look at the icons, they're a bit more rounded out, more smooth. The UI really looks much better than it did previously. If I go ahead and scroll down from the top menu, this has been drastically changed. We can see how things are a little bit more, it have square with rounded corners on them. And again, it really looked very nice. So they've, they've cleaned things up a bit here in this update. So it is a, a, a welcome update. It does perform um, a little bit better. I wouldn't say it's drastic. But we will get into one of the performance elements where they do have in this update where they say they've sped up the the performance with OneNote and Evernote and some of the other uh, note taking apps. But I will at least demonstrate OneNote and you can kind of see what that looks like. If we want to get into another app here, they've created this box drop where you can go to the URL and you can upload files a lot easier to this device. So as long as you're on the same network, you can do it through the IP, or if you're on the same wireless network. Um, if not, then you can do it through the typical push way where you use the, the box web portal um, or the app. So if we come in here, I'm already here on the device using the the web page and we can see box drop we can go in if we want to upload a file we can come in here and and browse through our our hierarchy here and if I upload this one PDF right here and let's go ahead and go to the library we can see that this new file that I've uploaded this consent PDF now shows up here so that's a very easy way to kind of uh, transfer files back and forth you can still use the the android file transfer method if you want to do it that way and this is basically what it looks like if you have it installed you you'll be able to get the hierarchy of your device um, but doing it this way you have to plug it in via USB in order to get this method. But the box drop allows you to do it wirelessly. All right, so I do have OneNote installed on this here. And let's go ahead into OneNote and let's kind of see what the performance looks like here. Now, if we look here on the device, we can see what it looks like here. It's kind of a grayscale type um, look and feel here. And there is some optimization that you can come in here to make this look a lot better. So if we do this optimize switch, this HD optimization switch here, we can go ahead and click that there and it will change things here to, to look a little bit better. You can see how it tightens things up. It does look a bit more high def. And let's go ahead and see what the writing looks like on the device and just how fast it is. So here, you can see there still is latency. Um, I don't remember the exact speed of what it was previously. This I think is somewhat doable. Let's go ahead and see if there's we go in here and change something else. Refresh. I will go to the highest mode here. Let's see if I go back to display. We can already see ghosting here. So maybe this is why 
You can see when you do the HD, optim HD optimization switch, it puts it into the middle here where you see the little rocket ghost it there. On the, if we go to the research tab, it'll put it here. So let's do it. Even though we do have the ghosting, let's go ahead and see what the typing looks like or the writing speed looks like here. And it's not much faster than the previous. So with the added ghosting that it creates, there's really no need, I think, to bump it up to the fastest speed there. Let's put it back to the HD optimization switch there. And oh, yeah, so Basically, you judge for yourself whether this is fast enough for you. Um, I still think it has more lag than it really needs. Let's go back and let's go into a note. And let's go here. So you see how this here is pretty much immediate, right? as compared to what you got on OneNote. So this is way better than before or in OneNote. So I wouldn't see why you would want to not use this note taking app versus the OneNote one on this device. Okay, if you like this video, go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel. And until the next time, have a nice day.